Hello friends, let us discuss checklist for energy conservation in heat exchanger and evaporator. Checklist for technical team. The pressure range of the working fluid and pressure difference between them uh, should be checked. The allowable pressure drop of the fluid across the heat exchanger should be checked. The temperature range for the working fluid and required approach temperature should be checked. The properties of the working fluids that should be considered into the mind that is physical properties such as density, viscosity, specific heat, thermal conductivity, temperature. Then again checklist for technical team. Uh, the tendency for the working fluid to cause fouling that should be checked. Availability of water for cooling that should be checked. Space available that is for uh, working is also checked. Governing designing code and code of the uh, operation that should be checked. Checklist for operational tip. System complexities should be checked. Level of automation that should be checked. Maintenance needed that should be checked. Clean heat exchanger when fouled because 1 mm scale built up on a condenser tube can increase energy consumption 40%. And this is not only in case of heat exchanger but this is also in case of evaporator. The same checklist can be uh, used. Checklist for environmental team. Water resources and availability that should be checked. Discharge temperature should be monitored continuously. Permitting requirements that should be a very very crucial in case of environmental aspect and noise requirement that should be checked. So all these are the checklist for uh, operating a heat exchanger and evaporator in a certain ideal conditions where you can conserve most of the energy that is uh, always uh, going to be waste. So energy saving is a kind of adding into the profit. So uh, this checklist are essentially needed and essentially followed for that. Thank you.